see a hole. Oh, I was hoping you would catch that. In class back at trade school, I was number one in Frosted and Streak, and I did my own. Oh, really? I would not have been able to tell. You know what? And I can spot a bottle job at 20 paces. <laughs> you know, your technique is good, and I think your form and content will improve with time. You're hired! Oh, thank you, Miss Truby. Thank you. <laughs> oh, hey, we do not have time for that today. We are going to be busier than a one-arm paper hanger. Well, here, let me help you. You got a little tiny oh, hairs no, and no, no, that's sugar. all over you. This room is so full of static electricity, I pick up everything but boys and money. <laughs> <laughs> now, you know where the coffee stuff is? Now, get all that stuff together. You just go be a treasure. Now, and now, I will have you know that you are working in the most successful shop in town. <laughs> and do you want to know why? Why? I have a strict philosophy that I have lived by for the last 15 years. There is no such thing as natural beauty. Now that is why I have not lost a customer to Beauty Box or Cut and Curl. And only the best for my ladies. You just use as much hairspray as you need, okay? <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, Lauren, go back. Um, Jenny, that's great. Uh, <laughs> you, even little things like um, pouring the drink, and, and I think I'm a really big fan of um, making things that, as real as we can. So, so, so I think water. it would work better if you'd actually put water okay. in there. And then when you're pouring the water, you spill a little bit of it. Okay. And then, uh, and then when you're taking it over, you know, it's just one of those. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. we can see all of these things. That, that, okay. Those are um, actions that are going to show the audience that this woman just does not have it together. Okay. You know, she doesn't belong here. Okay. Um, uh, and Jenny, that was great. <laughs> These women. That's not me, Samir. I just know it. <laughs> Don't you dare say that you know it. Well, you know what they say. You can't say anything nice. You just come sit next to me. I love those ladies. They make me laugh. All of them. It'd be nice to get a scene from like the little boys, you know. I have some, but they're usually like three, four Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. But that's a great idea. It really be funny. You're so Virginia. <laughs> Can I do it with Virginia? Can I do that scene with Virginia? She's great. Oh, I love her. She's great. Where do you want to start? Uh, Could you imagine the... Virginia, Jenny, and, um, and Camille? That would be fun. That would be so much fun. Okay, so let's just take it back to um, your hire. Okay. okay. Okay, so, you know what? Your form and content will improve with time. So, you're hot! <laughs> oh, thank you, Miss Truby, thank you! Oh, honey, we do not have time for that today. Let, let me help you, you got little tiny hairs and, and uh, fuzzies all oh, over Oh, no, me. sugar, sugar, sugar. Mm -mm. This room is so full of static electricity, I pick up everything but boys and money. <laughs> now, you know where all the coffee stuff is now, right? Go get that all ready, okay? <laughs> Now, now, I will have you know that this is the most successful shop in town. And do you want to know why? Why? I have a strict philosophy that I have lived by for the last 15 years. There is no such thing as natural beauty. And that, that is why I have never lost a customer to cut and curl or beauty box. Okay. <laughs> you know what? You just move that stuff over. Just move all that stuff over and just put it right there. There's no such thing as natural beauty. That's right. You remember that. Well, we're all out of a job now. I mean, come on, look at me. <laughs> it takes a lot of effort to look like this. I can see that. How many ladies do we have coming over this morning? Well, normally I just restrict myself to the ladies in the neighborhood, but today we're having Miss Shelby Eaton coming over, and she's the daughter of one of my regulars, and she's getting married this afternoon, so we're going to do something special with her hair. <laughs> hey, go to your doings, Lauren. So, um, Anil, uh, how long have you been in town? A few weeks. Oh, that must be interesting. To be in a new town, I would not know. I've been living here all my life. 
It's a little scary. Oh, I can imagine. So why don't you just tell me a little bit about yourself? <laughs> There's not much to tell. I, I live here. I'm, I have a job now. That's it. Uh, could I borrow a few of these back issues of Southern Hair? Oh, sure. You go on right ahead. I mean, I think it's important to stay abreast of the latest trends and styles, and I am happy to see your interest. Uh -huh. you, you must live close by. I don't, I don't see a car. My car is a... Uh, I don't have a car. I've been staying across the river at Robeline's boarding house. Good. Oh, my. Well, that's quite a walk. Oh, Ruth Robeline. Oh. <laughs> now, there is a story for you. <laughs> That whole, that woman's life is just an experiment in terror. Her husband was killed in World War I, and then her son was killed in Vietnam. When it comes to suffering, that woman's life is right up there with Elizabeth Taylor. <laughs> I had no idea. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. is, is that a gun shot? Yes, dear. <laughs> why, why don't you just turn that little crock pot on, okay? Why would someone be firing a gun in a nice neighborhood like this? That has to do with Shelby and her daddy <laughs> and his wedding. <laughs> you know what? You would just be happier just to ignore it like the rest of us in this neighborhood. 